Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and the question is why we return reference from copy assignment operator in C++ or it could be formed as why we should return reference from copy assignment operator in C++ and the answer is to support chaining assignment and what is that chaining assignment? It's like this. Okay, so if you remember, you might be using this chaining assignment in the case of integer and all that. This is our base class and uh, this is what I'm talking about. Why we return this operator, I mean, why we return base reference here, okay? Why copy assignment operator returns base reference or the object's reference or why not just simply void or something? Why not anything else? Just this so we'll just go ahead and just run this code so, so we can see it is running uh, i'll compile and check this so what i'm doing here is i'm just creating this b1 with 10 and i'm assigning that b1 to all of the objects so as you and, and I'm, I'm printing this here okay so that's why it is printing all cases 10. let's say if i am doing it like this if i'm not returning from reference i'm returning from the object itself okay so this is a return by value so in that case this project will compile and we'll see the same result but what is happening internally here if you will return like this and if you remember your uh, traditionally what you was using in integer cases like a let's say i have some value here like okay and b is nothing and c is also two and if I would write something like this, so what is happening here? This is perfect code, okay? There is no problem in this code. So what is happening here is, you are just assigning C into B, and after that you are assigning whole expression, whatever the expression is, with A in that, okay? So this is a perfect code, and if you want to see the output of this, we can just simply check the output, like B is nothing but, this one and okay and c is this one okay so we can just simply check the output of this one we'll just compile and run if uh, see b is 10 and c is 2 so a is not assigned to b and c both okay this is the difference if you know this is a uh, a round bracket and its precedence is more so this will get evaluated first so the c will come to b and now the only object remains here is b so you are assigning a to b so it's something like that that's why this b is only getting updated with 10 not this c so you can see this output here okay and no need to print this a we are not changing a here okay so to achieve this we need this reference if you are going to do it like this so i'll just change it here like uh, let's say this one and this one i'm assigning this one here and so the same as this okay so this is little separated code here b2 is equal to b3 and the bracket and b1 and you are doing it with base so let's see the result of this i'm not going to okay anyway just re, uh, just forget about this four here we are not changing four so no need to print that i'll compile and we'll run that so now try to understand the output here this is 10 10 i mean b1 is 10 b2 is 124 and b3 is also 124 so these two values are garbage values okay nothing is assigned to b2 and b3 here whereas it should be like b2 should have been assigned with b1 okay as this b is assigned with a so this b2 should have been assigned with b1 but it is not happening like this why because we are returning from the value here so if you will return from reference then in that case we'll just compile and check so in that case you see here b1 is 10 as it is 10 here we have set here b2 is also 10 because this b2 is assigned with b1 so our code is working as it should work in all the cases i mean as it works in primitive data types okay so this is the primitive data type and this is our user defined data type so if you want it to work like as your primitive data type was working you have to return by reference okay so i'm pretty much done here thanks for watching and make sure you go and check out my playlist so that you will get the videos like this Bye bye